where humanity I like begins the to take its first steps into the annals of history. Okay, so the fog of war is like little hex tiles. There's no fog. I mean, they're a little bit foggy, but they tiles. That looks pretty. I like that. I like the designs on these. This is nice. No, not nothing to do with gameplay. More aesthetic, but I like that. Oh. A brave scout begins to survey the Scout's got a dog. That's good. Lands. It is Gwendolyn Christie. Yeah. As our population grows, a new granary okay, is so built you have to, to store place. food for hungry mouths. <laughs> its location decided, a new district is formed. District. And construction Blech. begins. It is now possible Dog. to journey further and oh. expand our empire. Oh. With a deft hand, our scout travels the along is in the a boat. navigable river. Breathtaking series of waterfalls. Rainbow. And brave settlers begin the long trek. But to then the brave new settlers they the go Egyptian up there Empire. and then they meet the other person who's playing the game and they get captured and then there's an argument. Established near the majestic falls. Oh my god, go dog unnoticed. Dog? As I like the UI. Relations begin to form. It's nice and And peace does not it's pretty but it's ambitions. Wartime. Forever war. A great army is raised, led by formidable commanders. I wouldn't have a great army. I'd have one unit. Quickly across the land. I'd have one unit. We emerge victorious. These are so tiny. I'm not. I hope you can make them bigger. Because the the city names and stuff are so small. The challenges of this I'm very age have shaken ADHD. <laughs> I can't Empire see that shit. I'm like wearing blinders. It needs to be this big. The world changes. One that is better equipped to take that on the challenges so of the exploration age. Who? Oh. And our actions in this, this looks age fantastic, will inevitably though, like, influence a future It looks like you're actually building a civilization. As we evolve, it's not just a building with a field next so to it. So too do our neighbors. <laughs> or will you pivot? Will you pivot? Right, what do we have here? Is that the Notre Dame? Then we've got the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> They've pivoted. They've pivoted. We have a pyramid here. <laughs> I love it. The art style looks uh, more like five than six. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's for certain. Chat, now I want to play fucking Civ Five. Uh, can we watch the Downtown's reaction? <laughs> okay. For the first Sorry, time ever, three dollars in Civilization Seven, the story of your empire isn't just that of a single Civ, but several connected <laughs> together through time. No. One of each new age of human advancement. You'll select a new sieve. No! Build on, carry forward your previous achievements. No! No! To reinforce or pivot your strategy. To show you what we mean, let's take you through the story of one such empire. No! Are you kidding me? Incredible. Incredible. How do you look at humankind and go, we should copy that? We feel the pages of history so turn funny. as the age of antiquity comes to a close. Don't do it. Don't do it. Advancement approaches. The age of exploration. Don't do it. A new age brings forth new challenges <laughs> and new opportunities. <laughs> new technologies to research. <laughs> new resources to acquire. <laughs> New lands to explore. If we are to take on the challenges of this new age, we must adapt. <laughs> we must create a new civilization to represent our empire. One that is better equipped to take on the challenges of the exploration oh, age. <laughs> this new civilization builds on top of its past legacy. And That's our so actions funny. in this age. Well, there you go. That's what Daltos thinks. That's what Daltos thinks of the new Civ announcement. So, uh, more Civ 5 it is then. I probably won't play a lot of 7. I'll probably just keep playing 5 because that's the one I know. That's what I think. But I think it looks very pretty. Because <laughs> his reaction oh, this is pretty. Oh, dog. <laughs> Daltos, fuck shit. 